Who here um, has some performance anxiety when they are um, having sex? We are with I do, I do. <laughs> he that we're with, wow, you guys are fucking, you would have bullied me when I was younger. <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, so, so I'm sure, but be honest. On a first date, it is kind of scary. It's one of those things where, like, you're like, um, you know, she's not gonna want it the whole night. Then you're like, wait, she's coming back with me. Like, what if I don't perform well enough? Um, you get, you get really nervous. You're like, my penis isn't hard enough. What if I don't last long enough? What if I last too? Like, it, it, there's so many things that go through your head, right? Make some noise, guys, if that has happened to you. <laughs> this guy is honest, man. We actually have a solution for that. And that is a service called Blue Chew. So what Blue Chew is, it's a service that provides you tablets that help you last a lot longer, you're much harder, and it just makes everything more fun. And at Updating, we're all about fun. We highly recommend you you try this pill out. You can get it prescribed from a doctor. Um, they are sponsoring us tonight. I mean, so highly recommend it. Me and all my friends take it together and like we all go in my apartment and we don't fuck anyone. We just jerk off in front of each other. <laughs> highly recommend this. Um, and then, so who here is single tonight? <laughs> Love it. Um, so there's a reason you're all single because you can't perform. Uh, <laughs> Harrison, so what are your thoughts, man? And with uh, the Blue Chew. So I'm very excited about Blue Chew, Brandon. I used to struggle the first time you do hook up with Dude, someone. It's so I'm, scary. I'm in my head. Am I going to last? And the second I started using Blue Chew, I'm huffing and puffing after. It was the most enjoyable experience of my life. So check it out. And also, if you use the code updating, you get a free first order, which is cool. Yeah. So Harrison. All right. Should we bring out our first contestant, guys? Bring them right. out. Give it up. For Nick. All right, so Nick, welcome to Updating. Well, let's just start out with, with just an elevator pitch to the crowd. Tell them what you want them to know about you. Ooh, I feel like a lot of people like to say they don't take themselves too seriously. I, uh, I do. I, I, def <laughs> I definitely do. I would love to be like the, the relaxed guy who's just taking life as it goes, but uh, definitely not me. Uh, I take my career seriously, I take having fun seriously, and uh, above all else, I take dating seriously. So, uh, no. wow. <laughs> wow. No, not, not in a cute way. <laughs> wow, clap it up. I mean, I, I, he, takes, he takes fun seriously? How do you take fun seriously? Oh, I take it very seriously. So like, if I have a good night with friends, the next day I try to deconstruct it and figure out what wow. made it a good time. Like, wow. what, like, how many people were there? What was the ratio of guys to girls? How many drinks did we have? Was it like activity, activity, social type of club? Like, these are all inputs to me. Um, wow, um, I would definitely not hang out with you. Yeah. <laughs> So Nick, Fair enough. So, so Nick, I, I do have a question for you because you are clearly like, you're very serious. Um, so with like sex, are you like, hey, we're about to fuck? <laughs> like, so what is that like for you? When it works out with a girl and you're about to take her home, like, is it like, sounds like it might be awkward. Uh... No, no. Uh... <laughs> what? I don't think it's awkward. Um, I mean, maybe they, they would say something else, but uh, I, I feel like I've had, a, a, you know, a, a, at least enough experience at this point that I know how to behave socially. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> so Nick, I do have a question for you, and, and it, I guess this does tie into this. Tonight we were talking about some performance stuff. So a guy like you, when you're on a first date, do you go all night or do you ever get worried and your, your performance is not that great? Like, how does that work for you? For me, if it's like the first time with someone, um, I worry about getting nervous, ironically. So that's, that can kind of <laughs> spiral where I'm, I'm worried about getting nervous and getting nervous about getting worried. And all that can lead to maybe, maybe uh, like, Maybe performance issues, so... Um, Dude, see, he's being not. I'm telling yeah. you, I wasn't, I was... I was clapping up for that. I like... That's cool that that does happen to you, and what do you do to deal with that? Or do you just fucking, you know, you wait for the second time? It actually hasn't been an issue. I, I kind of tackled it preemptively. Um, <laughs> I don't know, some guys out there know what I mean. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> what, wow. Does that mean medication or something? Yeah, you know, there, there are things out there. Uh, <laughs> you know, you're kind of taking a, a gamble if you don't know what's going to happen, but... Uh, yeah, you know. Wow. Um, I literally feel like we're doing a commercial for this. <laughs> a very unplanned one. Um, what's something you do great in the bedroom that you, uh, you know, would, are very proud of that a girl should find out about you here? I'm very generous. <gasps> oh, hell. Uh, never heard that on this show. <laughs> okay, okay. A lot of guys say that, probably. But I have credentials. I read a book when I was 18, and it's, it's really served me. Yo, he's so preemptive. <laughs> Wait, what was this book? What was the book? It's called uh, She Comes First. <laughs> so, yeah. Take a fucking bow. Take a bow. Take a bow. <laughs> Wait, so what? And this book, what was the best technique you learned from it? Because, uh... I may, I may have to read this, man. There's a lot. There's, there's a whole system that goes into it. Um, I think one big takeaway is uh, don't rush. Um, I would say the first 45 minutes of most of my sexual encounters are, are that. Um, it's a long, bro. It's like a day. Yeah. <laughs> So don't rush. So keep going through your steps because I'm, I'm literally going to tomorrow rewatch this and then play it and then, you know, try to perform. So, yeah, so keep going. Um, don't dive right in. Uh, a lot of it is teasing, I suppose. Uh, you know, just kind of dancing around it, the, the suggestion of what, what's to come. And, and have you ever eaten any ass or just... Uh... <laughs> no, uh, at, at least not to my knowledge. No, it can be dark. I guess they I didn't know. have a chapter on that. <laughs> I love it, though, dude. Yeah, because, well, I'm trying to get more people into eating ass, you know? Because uh, <laughs> I want, you know, my, my friend, you know. Or, anyway. Um, <laughs> so, Nick, on the dating front, um, I, I guess, like, uh, what are you looking for? Go into that. What are you looking for? And then why do you want to be so serious? I experienced love for the first time at, at a young age, and I've been chasing that ever since. <laughs> Ultimately, I, I think I'm a traditional guy. I, I see myself having a family with kids, and it's, it's hard not to think about that. Describe the girl that would be your dream, right, to, to have tonight. The, what, physically, or? You could say physically, mentally, emotionally, like, whatever. Physically, I, I really don't have a type. I, I don't want to be prescriptive. <laughs> um... <laughs> Personality-wise, I tend to be uh, attracted to very bubbly girls, uh, social girls. Um, probably not someone super similar to me because I can be a little eccentric, and uh, I think two of us would be a lot. You're using um, a lot of big words there, Nick. How well-educated are you? What's your background? Yeah. My background? like What college? I went to Penn. <gasps> oh. oh, he's an Ivy League. He has an Ivy League cock. <laughs> I mean, Harrison, he's, uh, he's uh, I a... Like, I like Nick, Brandon. He's an interesting guy. Clap it up for Nick. Give um, it up. Uh, the audience, some ladies are, you know, they're, they're liking what they see. What's one physical feature you have that maybe you, you don't like? Could be any body part, too. Okay. Um, I, I have two, two answers. What's that? I have this one, like, mutant hair follicle on my shoulder. I like those videos on TikTok. <laughs> and like, it grows maybe a hundred times faster than the rest of my hair. So like, at any given moment, there could be like a very long, wispy, single hair just poking around on my shoulder. Yeah. That's cool though, what was the other thing? I could have bigger calves. No, I said that. I like bigger calves. Wait, a girl just goes, I said that? <laughs> About you the calves? You noticed his calves? Wow. Yeah, damn. All right, clap it up for Nick. Give it up. You're going to stand up, Nick. Put your thumb up. Don't make any noise if you're into Nick. Thumb down if you're, if you're not. Oh, wow, yeah. Wow. Wow, okay. Give it up for Deanna. Give, Give it up, up for Deanna. Tell the crowd about yourself, what you want them to know. Well, obviously, my name's Deanna. I'm from Pittsburgh, PA. I've been here for like six years now in the city. I went to school at FIT like my last year. And then, oh yeah. Woo! I like that. 
what kind of guy do you want right now? Like, what well, are you looking for? I love the classic tall, dark, and handsome. I feel like. Yeah, and like, is that boring? <laughs> what's that? no? I mean, and then like I guess this get more specific. Uh, okay, emotionally intelligent, uh, emotionally available, a family man, um, has a good job, is super clean, lives by himself, um, oh. super social, likes to party, but also likes to like keep it low key. What, uh, <laughs> what, about, what about guys that are slightly like quirky but like fun? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can, I can do with quirks. I, I can be quirky myself. I'm kind of socially awkward sometimes, so I get it. Oh, wow. <laughs> what if they're a little hairy, too? Oh, God, how hairy? A specific hair on them. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, they, in the Guinness Book of World Records... Ew, no, what do you mean? They have someone with the longest hair. Do you mean, like, on their head? On... Or their chest? On their shaft. On their chest? I mean, uh... I mean, I've dated a guy with a lot of chest hair before, but it was... Yeah, cool. That's all yeah. good. So we're good. But. Now, look, here, Deanna, the reality is we all... I know I, I'm a huge fan of two things, pimple popping and ingrown hairs getting pulled out. She um, says, my mom loves that shit. Your mom is... She's, she's like, all day on, on TikTok. So I guess there's kind of two... You walk into a bar... You meet two guys. There's one guy that's kind of, you know, he may sound like this, a little slangy. And then there's one that uses big words. Um, what do you uh, mean slangy? I don't know. They sound like they're white trash. Uh, oh. <laughs> are you more into that or the guy that's like, you know, has, uses some bigger words and you don't really, wouldn't really know where he's from? Like a smart guy? Like the... <laughs> White collar or blue collar ver oh, dialect. Oh, love, love a white collar. Yeah. But okay. I mean, like, you know, if he's a cool, funny guy, I can do blue collar, whatever. Yeah, it's all the same shit. Whatever. Yeah. It's all about what you make, not about what you do. Yeah, 100%. Uh, um, I guess what's a specific about yourself right now the crowd would be surprised to find out about you? That could tell us a lot about you, Deanna. I played volleyball in college, Division Two. Oh, that's, kind of, that's cool. Yeah, I guess. Uh, what's something you. Yeah, give it up for that. Good, yeah. What's something you hide that like you wouldn't want to tell the crowd right now, but you'll tell them because you want the you want to really win them over. Uh, my body count. <laughs> Wait, now that you said that, what? <laughs> what I, now that you said that, you take it away. Well, I just feel like guys judge you so hard off of that, and that's why you never tell them, right? I don't. I dude, I could be with someone with five thousand guys. And be like, oh, that's cool. If you're fucking me, I'm happy. <laughs> um, so what, do a lot of guys ask you that, Deanna? No, but I've been asked before, and I just think it's yeah. like... Have you ever told anyone it? I have told someone, but oh. like usually you keep that on DL. <laughs> All right, if you will, if you want to share. Because you can be judged either way, low or high. It's like... I don't, I don't really... You're it, damned it, if you do. You're damned is it above 100 or...? I'm, oh, fuck no. <laughs> oh. It's not even a lot. I think if it's above a thousand, it's like a block. I'm like, all right, that's a Jesus. lot. I think he would be dead. Clap it up for Deanna, opening up. Um, couple final questions. So obviously you're from a smaller town. I'm sure a lot of your friends may be there starting to settle down. Are you in that mindset? Is that something you're actually looking for? Or are I, you, um, you I know, mean, living definitely. the New York City life? No, I'm sick of dating. I definitely like spent this last year isolating from dating because like 22 to 26, I just dated so much and I feel like I wore myself out. And do you ever judge a guy's legs? Let's say, you know, his thighs are strong, maybe his calves. Oh, or is definitely. That... So what kind of legs do you like on a guy then? I mean, like, just like athletic lean legs, not like a... Like not like stick legs, but not like super beefy. Like I don't like the juice heads. Oh, so you like a leg. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Uh, make some noise for Deanna. Make some noise. Welcome back to the stage, Nick. All right. Nick. His hands were pretty sweaty. Yeah, disgustingly <laughs> sweaty. Deanna, uh, we want you to meet Nick here. Um, Nick, uh, oh, are you right next to me? Yeah. I am right next to you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Nick. So um, we don't have 45 minutes. So uh, <laughs> so take it away. <laughs> well, that's the whole show. Do you want to say hi to each other? Hi. 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 <laughs> Do you come here often? No. <laughs> wow, this is this is a date you'll watch in like a prison. 
They're like, I don't remember how to properly communicate with the opposite sex. Um, so Nick, I yes. mean, what would be a question you normally would never ask on a date that you're gonna ask right now so we could see the kind of question you would ask? That was a confusing sentence, wait. <laughs> the type of question that I wouldn't ask. Yes. And something I, I have to ask it now. Something you would want to know about someone that is in the back, it's in the back of your head, you're like, I shouldn't say this, but I'm gonna ask it. <laughs> is, that, is that not broken down enough for you, Mr. No, Genius? No, no, I get it, I get it. Um, Would you describe yourself as promiscuous? Whoa. It depends on the day. <laughs> what kind of day is it? I mean, you know, like after like a good date, um, you're attracted to the guy. Uh, yeah, just depends on like the mood, I feel like. <laughs> What are you after at, at this stage in your life? Are you just trying to have fun? Are you um, definitely? I literally hate when guys say that when they're like, "I just want to have fun." I am intentional. Like I am looking for a relationship, and like number one red flag for me is if a guy's like, oh, "I just want to have fun." I'm like, no, absolutely not. <laughs> I, I think the crowd can attest. Uh, we're in line there. Wow. Um. I, I, um, I am extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> I guess that we, we could take that to you, De uh, Deanna. So Nick asked his question. He doesn't think he should ask. Is there one for you? Uh, yeah, what's your body count? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, well, I don't keep track, but... Oof. <laughs> Wrong answer. <laughs> You're the guy no, who has no, a, it, not in terms of it's a lot. It's he's that. the guy who has a spreadsheet, literally. <laughs> oh, I know. I put it in the ballpark of early 20s, late teens. Okay. And Deanna, um, is there a number a guy could have where it would be a no? Uh, or? I think like, you know, above or like above 100 or like just under 100 would be no. Do you live alone? I do. Okay, good. Nice. Wow. It's like, I do. I love that. Wow. The way he just said, I do, it's like, not only does he live alone, it sounds like he lives in a big house. Like, <laughs> All right. Um, are you close with your family? I am. I just got back from a trip to Italy with them. Oh, so. lovely. Yeah. Where in Italy? So we did Rome, Venice, Florence, uh, Amalfi Coast. Beautiful. Yeah. This sounds like a combo that just stays in the dating app and it never, like, <laughs> actually... <laughs> Yo, that deserves a way bigger laugh. That deserves... <laughs> Were you in Italy in this pic? <laughs> oh, oh Craig. She's like, yeah, I went with my family. Oh, that's cool. Like, uh, where are you from? Uh, are you liking his voice, Deanna? He... Um, to be honest, you sound a little nerdy. <gasps> wow. Good call. Oh. Good call. <laughs> A closet nerd, but I it's guess... It's not a bad thing. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, you're, you're spot on. <laughs> I sound like a bitch. So and do you, like, do you like that, Deanna? It's kind of hot, right? Yeah, whatever. I mean, like, it depends on personality. I really care about, like, the voice, you know, when it comes down to connections. Yeah, and look, nerds are... They're always... They're, they're very good at certain <laughs> things. They pay attention to details. We are about to play Five Hard Facts by Blue Chew. So Very we're, hard we're, facts. We're just going to quickly list off a couple facts and you guys can discuss it together. So, and Blue Chew, as we know, it's a unique service, chewable tablets, convenient. I use it every night. And you'll be able to, and if, and if you want the girl that you go on a first date with to want to date you, take this. They'll, you know, the fuck will be something like you've never experienced before. So, so the first hard fact, what is the most amount of rounds that either of you have gone in the bedroom? Maybe like four. Oh, it's I don't know. Two. Yeah. It's wow. We have a friend that's the gone seven because of Blue Chew. Harrison, what's <laughs> what's the next one there? What's the longest you have ever lasted in the bedroom? Oh. For me, four minutes. <laughs> what about you guys? I'm a girl. I can't really answer that, right? Yeah, I guess I. I mean, yeah, that's true. 
Because I know, sadly, girls have to fuck guys so they don't come off. <laughs> you just have to wait. <laughs> uh, honestly, for me, hours. And, and Nick, what about what about for a lady you were with? What was the quickest you got her off? You know, because that is something you consider yourself skilled at. So, uh, what was the quickest, brother? I don't think the best orgasms can really happen that quick. So, uh, um, I say otherwise. <laughs> Next one. The best part about hooking up with someone for the very first time. That's new and exciting. Yeah. Um, finding out how loud they are. <laughs> so, Nick, what noise do you make in the bedroom? I don't know. Dead silent. <laughs> no. um, I don't know. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Nick's noises. Be for real. Probably just very heavy breathing. Yeah, that's fair. That's hot. Oh, uh, I'm fucking. I'm I usually just swear. I feel like. You swear? Yeah. I no. swear. Yeah. What, what curse words? Fuck. 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 <laughs> Obviously. What is the bucket list item that you've always wanted to try in the bedroom, and you've never had the chewable tablet to help you do that? <laughs> What's the one thing you want to try your whole life? For me, it's anal. No one's ever asked me to do it. Oh, uh, for real, I want to try it. Anal sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? So terrible. So don't even bother trying like, maybe it? Maybe for the guy it's good, but the girl, Jesus. Oh, okay, horrible. so I won't, I won't try it then. Okay. No, yeah. That just solved my problem. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, Unless you're married. Why is anal better when you're married? Is it like that? I don't know. You're more comfortable. Well, whatever, in a relationship or married. No, that's I feel true. like it's more uncomfortable. It's not like a hookup thing. Yeah. <laughs> that would be weird. Did someone in the crowd make noise if you've done anal on a hookup? <laughs> Woo! Wow, that's an awesome crowd. Wow. Um, not going to lie, whoever those people are should get the blue chew. <laughs> uh, wow. Yes, you've done a you did anal on a first date? Yes. And was it wild? Yeah, but I was very <gasps> fucked up. You Wow, that... I hope it was consensual. It was. Good. Good. So Harrison, uh, I'm I ready. think it's time uh, for... I think I'm ready for these two to see each other. I'm, I'm so ready. Are they going to hug or kiss before yeah. I... Yeah. Do you want to feel my clammy hands? <laughs> it's a no for me. Right before you take them off, do you want to kiss her now? No. no. All right. All right, anal girl. We'll... <laughs> The person who did anal on a first date is like, don't kiss blindfolded. Uh -huh. So take your blindfolds off in 10, ten 9, nine eight, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> what do you have to say to each other? Um, he kind of looks like my cousin. <laughs> Would you fuck your cousin? No. You're very handsome, but I you just remind me of my cousin so much. So on that note, final words for each other right now. You have anything to say to each other? You're very sweet. It's been an honor. Yeah, I agree. So uh, both of you, you're going to close your eyes, look straight, Thumb up if you are interested in the person next to you. Thumb down if you are not in three, two, one. Whoa. Now talk about that decision right now with each other. Um, I usually can tell pretty immediately based on our conversation and based on like how I feel. And yeah, I just didn't feel the same vibe. <laughs> Uh, for me, it's actually kind of the opposite. I, I think there's a notion that everything has to be immediate. And yeah. uh, it might not be. I, I think a good relationship takes a lot to build, and it takes effort on both parts. And uh, you strike me, not a bad thing, but like kind of opposite. Like It's all about like that immediate vibe, and I get that. But yeah, not for me. That's fine. That was a really great answer. 
I agree. It takes a while to get to know someone. Wow. Like, feel it out. So I think I'm judging too quickly, but. Wow, deep breath. <laughs> wow. Damn, I feel yeah. awful. Right no, now. dude, you guys are both honest with each other. Um, so, Harrison, what's going to go on right now? All right, so we have some good news for Deanna. Oh. oh. Because there's a guy out there who we're going to give one minute to shoot his shot. And Nick, I think we're going to kick you off the stage. Yeah, Nick, uh, you're... Guys, give it up yeah. for Nick. Yeah. Give it up for Nick. Bring him on out. Oh, that guy? Harrison, bring him up. Wait, you want? do you want to come up? All right, come, come, on, on up. come on, come on. Actually, he's a pretty good... Pretty, wow. Give it up for that hairline. For, for the love of God. I was uh, born with that hairline. <laughs> Uh, Wait, did, did you come up here for Deanna or Brandon? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, no one has ever come up and said, you have a fucking hot hairline. <laughs> oh. and, and, and what's uh, your name, by the way? Dylan. Dylan, so you're, you're going to have one minute. One minute to picture yourself. seconds yes. to wow the crowd. Yeah. To wow. Get, so picture, oh, wow, me. Pitch <laughs> yourself to Deanna right now. Yeah. What do you want to say to her? Um, Listen, Deanna, you, you, you don't like the people who are reserved. Clearly, you like the spontaneous. You like someone who who's adventurous, who'll take you skiing, who'll take you snowboarding, oh, who'll yeah. do anything at a moment's notice, okay? <laughs> Gorgeous, volleyball player, athlete. You like to get right up to the net and dig those balls out, okay? Okay? <laughs> I don't mean okay, anything I by that, okay? I'm just an appreciative of the athletics, okay? I'm up here for no reason other than they called me in the last 30 seconds. Okay, that should tell you The vibe's are already alone. so much better. I can just feel it. <laughs> Here's the other thing. We have to acknowledge that I have a tremendous advantage given that I don't have a, uh, a black terry cloth over my You're eyes right, right now. Okay. Wow, I am so nervous. <laughs> I feel like I'm with a guy that beat up and drugged his whole frat. <laughs> Holy shit, wait, you saw that article? Yeah. I... Brandon, he okay, does have the humor. He does have American psycho vibes. A little yeah. Bit. What do you um, wait? By the way, where did you I do want to know where you went to like college or, and stuff? Like I, uh, I most people will not have heard of it, but Swarthmore College in Pennsylvania. Wait, where are you from? Are you from, are you from are you from are you from Pennsylvania? I'm from the Philly area as well. Oh, I'm from Pittsburgh. Oh, lovely. Picklesburg, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Love yeah, that. You know. I went to a small school in Pennsylvania, too. And where, what was that? A Mercyhurst. It's like near Erie, oh. PA. Oh, without a doubt. There is someone for everyone. <laughs> if you had to say one thing right now to win Deanna over, beyond a pitch, what is the thing you think you could say to her specifically that would make her immediately want you? I don't care, Deanna, what your body count is. <laughs> okay, good. Stop it. You, you'll never know anyway. All right. The more experience you have, you know what's real. And Dylan. You've exactly. filtered out the ones that Did. you don't want. <laughs> have You're you ever wrong. killed anyone? <laughs> For real. What kind of vibe You could be honest. Right Today? No. This is why we don't have frat guys on the show. <laughs> But you know what though? He's given a, he's, he is, you are, the one thing you are is interesting, unfortunately. Deanna, are you into Dylan? Yeah, I like that. Wh microphone. Oh, you're right. Yeah, All I right. like that vibe so far. So Deanna, take your blindfolds off in three, two, one. I'm scared. Oh my God, yeah, he's so cute. <laughs> You look like a couple that's at a party in Connecticut I'm not invited to. Uh, it is a party. I would walk by with my with my my friends and then we'd be like, we're never gonna be at that. You weren't invited. Yeah, I I knew that. I knew that. Should we do the height test with Dylan? Make sure. Do you want to stand up and see if you're into the height? Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, this is oh. this is great. I can work. Wow. All right. Love this. All right, so guys, it looks like we have a couple. So these two are, is, there's gonna be a second date? Yeah. Yeah, I'm down. I would love to. Me too. I would love to. 
and um, uh, hopefully he doesn't, you know. Uh, <laughs> I would, I would, uh, <laughs> I would share your location with your friends before that day. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be honest. We've we've done now 40. I think we've done like 45 cities without dating. We probably had a thousand people on the stage. It's the first time I'm ever with someone where I'm like, there's a chance they committed a very bad crime. <laughs> At the minimum, it's money laundering. At the maximum, it's murder. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, but anyone that comes up to the stage, I give credit to, and you got her. You got her, man. Yeah. So you and, and should, should they tell each other their ages to see? Because I don't. 26. 27. Is that okay, Deanna? Yeah. All right. Okay. Cougar. So as long as you're not a fuckboy. <laughs> All right. Uh, wait, what did he just say? I said right. as long as you're Her not words. a fuckboy. Hallie, what's your body count? <laughs> uh, I've been watching the whole show from right over there, and I can tell you with certainty it's less than. Okay. Uh, what? Oh. Oh. Not, not that that's a bad thing. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Like I said, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Not a thing of importance to me. Not a thing of Clearly importance. Clearly it is. Do you date often, Dylan? What's going on? No. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. And, I, and when I do, I do take it seriously, but it's very, it's fragmented. What does that mean, it's fragmented? You can be honest. Uh, like, you're in a serious relationship, you would call it probably over a year, longer than a year. I've had like six months, three months, four months, this, that, the other thing. And not for lack of trying, but it's just never worked out. Like situationships? Yeah. Have, have you ever yeah, had a same. drug or alcohol problem? Yeah. Um, listen, I definitely don't own a Ford 150 in which the back of the truck has four or five bodies in it. That's not me. What? Okay. But... But <laughs> no, I've never, I've never had any. <laughs> so detail with this joke. Thing. I kind of love it. It's funny. We're gonna get a message from like a police officer in two weeks saying, "Thanks for finding the criminal we were looking for." <laughs> D- Dylan. Speaking of which, speaking of which, if anyone got an Amber Alert at about 1:30 tonight, you can just dismiss that. Not worry about it. Okay. Yeah. All right, All we're right. gonna cut and- it there. <laughs> this is kind of as real as it's gonna get. Um, they were just not right for each other um, in the beginning. Nick was a nice guy. Um, he's relatable. I do think there's a lot of guys dating like him out there, and um, he took the show seriously too. Nick, it'll work out for one day. Deanna, <laughs> I have nothing to say. <laughs> she's. I gotta be honest, bro. There's not. Just, just say, there. look. Just say every once in a while with update, we get a pair. And <laughs> look, here's the thing about updating. Everything on the show is real. Like we're not staging shit. We don't have, you know hundreds of hours we're editing down from we do a show in front of an audience and tonight they were a bizarre pairing and like what you saw was like a it was a tame train wreck it was really interesting when dylan came up like look i speak my truth i got a little uncomfortable with him but i do actually think that him and deanna will go on a date and they were talking to each other um after the show it's one of those shows that happens every few shows where you have truly no idea what's going to unfold and we knew the pairing would be interesting. Deanna, stunning, wanted a taller guy with bushy eyebrows. We got her that, but the second he opened up his mouth, everything went downhill from there. Kept it real. We've all been on dates like this, where you are, you are afraid to speak, you're afraid to perform, you're afraid that you won't last long. A lot of things didn't last long tonight on the show, uh, which is why we work with Bluetooth. The fact that he was buying a book at 18, where it's like, how do you make women come or something? <laughs> no one I mean, even wrote that book. The guy, and, the guy, and look, the guys who are good in the bedroom, they don't, they're not like buying these like literature around the subject. And I, we appreciate the honesty, but sometimes like things are better left unsaid. If someone is honest on this show, I don't care what it is. You're welcome on our show. And we're happy to have you on. Everyone was honest tonight. And look, if you're honest and you'd be a good contestant, apply on updatingshow.com. Tickets for our touring is available on our site. We're gonna be hitting all of America. The fans I have the most authentic interactions with are YouTube fans. We love you guys and we can't wait to meet more of you. Please hit subscribe. Quirky show tonight, a rare show without a kiss. It was funky, it was odd, it was unique, it was updated. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Click the link below and use the code UPDATING and you'll receive your first order of Blue Chew for free. 
Try Blue Chew, support our show, and give your date the night of her life. You won't regret it.